Hello, and welcome to Draw With Me, artist Leslie Walton. And today we're going to be drawing Jack Skelton from Nightmare Before Christmas. Great film, as we all know, and yeah, Christmas film, it's a bit early, but um, it's pretty simple and it is also very effective. And I thought I would try something new with this video as well, with the whole staining the page and whatnot, but you'll see that. Anyway, let's get into this. So, first go off is I decided to stay in the page with tea bags and coffee. Uh, uh, we all did like the tea bag staining at school and stuff like that, so I thought it was a nice wee thing to go back to. And yeah, so just stay in the page with that. I made sure there was like wee bits of dots and stuff as well. But uh, the reason why I used coffee as well whenever I was mixing it so was that it would darken down. So there we go, now we're into the drawing phase and straight in with drawing the good old circles. Uh, with Jack Skelton's eyes, they're to show uh, perspective. I One's bigger than the others, but again, they're just big ovals. And then across the mouth as well and you know you put in just wee marks just to so show that his mouth sewn up so again if I'm going a wee bit too fast for you to keep up uh, just pause the video and catch up now you'll notice whenever I come down to his chest it's almost like drawn you know like the bottom part of a heart as well as the uh, is part of in his chest you know uh, it's white now you see already I'm putting in lots of details with the hands and yeah that's always fun as well because they are skeleton hands So yeah, now you can see me in the inking phase here. I'm just inking over the guidelines here, and yeah, with uh, with Tim Burton's kind of style of his characters, they are quite easy to draw, but at the same time very effective. There's a lot of contrast in them as well, which is always good. It's always fun to do. I kept this one quite simple uh, just for the effect of it as well but also to show you a couple of other wee techniques as well uh, with this but that will be coming later on So here I'm just blackening in everything and it's a very cool effect if you wanted to keep your drawing like this by all means you know once it's all blacked in it's quite a nice effect also as you can see on the page there's ripples down there uh, that's because it didn't uh, come out very you know uh, straight after I put the tea bag effect onto it uh, the tea stains uh, that's just the quality of the paper that I'm using, which, you know, I am using a, a decent sketch pad and sometimes this does happen. If you wanted a really pristine effect from this, I would advise to use the likes of uh, either very thick white paper or card. But yeah. And you'll see me as well as going over a few wee things with the uh, finer uh, pens, like the finer Sharpie, the finer uh, fine liner that I have, and then I just rub out all the pencil lines. Not the there wasn't much there to see, but it's always good to clean it up. Now this is the effect I was talking about earlier on with the white pencil. Uh, now I'm just basically bringing Jack actually out of the page kind of more 
you know, contrasting tones, which is always nice, and sometimes more effective as well. Now, with the white pencil over this, you will see the likes of, you know, it's obviously not going to black, completely black out the, uh, the black sharpies and markers that I've already used, but, uh, you know, it does fade it a little bit, so hence why I'm just going back over uh, everything and just darken it down and make it more contrasting. I just as a wee final touch as well, put a little bit of pencil work in there just to show a little bit of shade and then I signed, or sorry, I smudged it and then I signed my work because all artists have to sign their work. So be proud of what you're doing, doesn't matter what stage you're at. And there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Uh, Jack Skelton is one of those iconic figures from the Tim Burton series and is always a joy to draw and stuff. So. so don't forget if you haven't already, please like this video, share it about, hit the subscribe button and yeah, hit me up on the social medias if you've been drawing along and yeah. Now I'm going to go and start singing all the songs from it, especially This Is Halloween, it's my favourite. Anyway, have fun guys and stay safe. Thanks. <laughs>